people. Shalom, Rastafari. Um, this is Itation of Jamaica and I, Rastafari. We've been, you know, referring to some of the foundational kind of teaching of Rastafari. So we want to recommend this, especially to, like, um, the youth, the Rastafari youth, as well as there's three books in this particular series. We have this one right here. Um, it's a book one. Um, but there's three books, and, and the pictures, the whole, the, the way it was put together and how it has stand the test of time, and it embraces from what many of I and I who have been tried in Rastafari um, for, for Iowa, as it were, would say is, is, is the fullness of Rastafari, right? Um, it embraces the Ethiopian, the orthodoxy as well. In fact, a lot of things that many of us many times want to say to a lot of um, Ethiopians to explain Rastafari can be really fully explained as we learn our true ancient Ethiopic faith or the, as the Bible says, the faith that was once delivered to the saints. We find that in Jude or Judah, which is the book of Jude. Mm-hmm. No relation to Askarotawi or to the one known as Judas. So that name Jude and Judas get a bad name, but really Judas is Judah in the Greek. But anyway, that a point aside, I just wanted to kind of recommend this, uh, commend this book and recommend this book and the two other books as well, because we're going to be highlighting some of the um, teachings again, because we have to, as the Bible says, he who think him stand, him to check his, you know, check himself. You know what I mean? Man, know thyself. So some of you all may have read this before. And if we're studying the teaching of his majesty and growing in his Christ and the Moshiach, Adonai, Yeshua, Aha, Moshiach, Getach, and Jesus Christos, based on the teaching of his majesty, then this book also embraces some core, this book and the two other books that follow as well. Each one of them have certain particular information that can help many of the newbies, as it were, or the Adi Smet or uh, Metoch, um, the newcomers in the sense of Rastafari, whether Jew or Gentile, black Jew or, or white Gentile or from other nations, you know, um, it embraces the fullness based on the teaching of His Majesty. So I just wanted to like highly, highly recommend um, this particular book is book one. It goes into some of the Ieric. You understand? Know, we have to explore that based on what we have been learning um, in the Amharic and from the Metzhaf Kedus and through the teaching of His Majesty and really see it in this holistic, in its full spectrum, in a full spectrum sense. So this is one reason why I'm pointing that out, as well as, you know, in the, in the line of Judah Society, in our college, in our study, you know, the discipleship, the Schofield uh, reference Bible is a, is a main reference tool that we use in our studies. And we've also recommended the recovery, the recovery Bible, right, which is this particular Bible right here. Well, the recovery Bible, right, the recovery Bible. Um, yeah, here it goes right here, right? And it's a... Uh, I call it a uh, Trinitarian in the sense, for lack of a better word, a triune. You understand? Know Triunity, maybe we'll call it, and I and I liberty as Rastafari. So it's not a. Re Some may have thought it was a rejection of Iric when I and I say that. Well, it's Amharic. That's I and I pure language. It's not a rejection of Iric. We understand Iric, but um, we now have to understand our true getting to the root. You know, you know, tracing, tracing from the branching of Rastafari and also the bounding, branching and bounding of discipleship, get to the true root and the true ground and groundation and the true foundation. So in this particular recovery, um, the New Testament recovery version of the Bible, and all this we can study even as we learn and as we continue to grow in grace in the Fidel, in the Hahuhis. So as we learn the Abu Gida, the Hahuhis, the, the Ha Peh, and our um, royal Amharic uh, Fidel, as we still grow step by step at being as little children, growing up to the King of Kings, Abu Kedus, 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 in the 
testimony, through the testimony of Yeshua, HaMoshiach, as well as along with the um, learning the commandments, the law of God, or Torah, is, is, is the foundation, right, that His Majesty speaks to us when He says, for my part, I glory in the Bible. Now, in this little segment right here, right, here, bring that like that, I'd like to just touch on a in the couple of minutes I have in this short segment, Ephesians chapter 5, once again, to show that when, when the Bible is rightly under, overstood, right, therefore we'll begin to see the reflection of what we have received in the irate of Rastafari. So this will be a part one, and perhaps we'll go into part two. But verse 15, um, 515 of Ephesians, right, which is a book of spiritual warfare. According to the Recovery Bible translation says, Look, therefore, carefully how you walk, not as unwise, but, but as wise. In other words, look, care, look, therefore, carefully. Look, therefore, carefully how you walk. Now, when we say walk in Rastafari, we, we say from the Ayurveda, yad or trod. Some say trod, but at even a higher level, some of us cite is the yad, right? Well, yad is the yod. Too. The Yod in the Hebrew, very, very important, which is the first uh, fidel of the, of the Ivine tetragrammaton, Yod, He, Wow, He, or Yahweh. So it's, that's also a Ja. When we say Ja, is to say Yod or Yod. So when Ephesians chapter 5, verse 15, according to the Recovery Bible translation, you can compare this with King um, James Version, it says, look therefore carefully how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise. Now, what do we as Rastafari speak of from the foundation, from the root, from the groundation is, 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 wiz, is wisma, we say wisma, right, instead of saying wisdom, or in a 5% from us from the Afro, from the Afro perspective, the Ephraim perspective, like or the Judahite perspective, we'll say as the 5% to say wise the dumb or why is the dome, or the ras, right, I and I, I and I, I and I mind state, right, because we receive the seed, right, in our, in our mind. You must know the truth, but that seed must take root in I and I heart, right, and the heart pumps the blood, and that new blood is the blood and fire tribe, and you begin to see the whole Christological spectrum in its fullness, vis-a-vis I and I liberty and daily walk. This is like a meditation, a study for application, for practice, so we can perfect and overcome and stop this, this kind of cycle, right, of condemnation and judgment through the new birth in the King of Kings and through Yeshua HaMoshiach. So here it says, there's a footnote, there's a footer here. And I want to read this, just read through it, and then give a little commentary. So this is the footer to look, therefore, carefully how you walk or how you try, not as unwise, but as why. So we get the knowledge, now we need the know-how or the wisdom of the tibeb, the chokmah, right, in the Hebrew. Verse 15, the footnote says, to live by being filled in spirit, verses 15 to verse 21, is the fifth aspect of a walk or a trod or a yard that is worthy of God's calling. So let's understand this even on the Ayurik, on the Rastafari Ayurik. To live by being filled in irit is the fifth aspect of a trod or a yod that is worthy of Jah's calling, of Yod's calling, a trod that is worthy of the Yod's calling, of Yahweh's calling, of the King of Kings calling in Yeshua HaMoshiach. Now check this out. Listen to this. Simma, Simma. The first four aspects of such a worthy Yemigeba walk, Akahed, or the Halakha in the Hebrew, are keeping the oneness, that's the first, keeping the oneness, and take note of this, keeping the oneness, growing up into the head, and the head is the Ras, growing up into the head, learning Christos, or learning Christ, learning Moshiach, learning of the black Moshiach, and living in love and light. When I saw that, when I first just 
you know, read that a little bit earlier, you know, in my study of this, since we were teaching on the Trinity, Tawahido and the Trinity, the Mishtera Selase, I went through this basically at the first level in the Schofield Reference Bible. You know, you just read it, you get a basic understanding. Now, when you want to go deeper into the liberty, right, or to the higher heights, the higher heights, right, I was reading now, studying these notes, and so these first four aspects, or all five would be this, would be one is keeping the oneness. We speak about the inity, right, love and inity, the inity, the, the, the keeping the oneness, right, growing up into the head, into the ras, or ras tefari, right, learning Christos. This is the teaching of his match, learning Christ and his kingly character, and living the liberty, right, in love and light. It says the issue of having these four aspects, like a square or a cipher, a circle, the cross, of a worthy walk is that we, I and I, are spontaneously filled in I and I iris, in our spirit, out of this inward filling, this inward filling, will come submission. We will come under the true mission of his majesty in Christ, the submission, love, obedience, care, and all other virtues, and, and these are powers, strengths, of a proper, here says Christian, but we know that the new name, Rastafari, life and liberty, church life, the churchical, the church triumphant, right, the church militant, right, and triumphant, Family life, restoring that nuclear family so we have real spiritual power, right? Um, and community life, our common unity, the community. What a life we have when we demonstrate, or what Aina Rastafari will say, manifest. When I and I manifest, because we can, you know, word, sound, demonstrate, you over that, but let's not be immature. Right? When we manifest the five aspects of a walk, of a trod, of a yard, of a be'amarinya, akahe, be'ibrayistakwankwa, halaka, the halaka that is worthy of Jah's calling, that is worthy of Jah's calling. So see, this is how we, you know, really meditate. I'm just touching on one verse, Ephesians 5.15. And, and the um, New Testament recovery version of the Bible, you can go to what line of Judah, uh, Society info, and you can basically order a free copy. It's, it's published and put out by um, these other Christian, Gentile Christian uh, brothers and sisters, the Living Stream Ministry, or you can go to BiblesForAmerica.org, and it was um, outlined, footnotes, charts, and references written by Witness Lee. L-E-E, -E, Witness Lee. Some very, very good works, my brothers and sisters, and I, I recommend this to the disciples and the brothers and sisters who want to study and grow, right, in the liberty of his imperial majesty and his Christ. Adonai, Yeshua I, HaMoshiach, Gietachina, Med Hanatachin, Iesus Christos. So Shalom Rastafari, this is Wendem Yadon reporting for the LOJ Society of His Imperial Majesty, Kadamawi Haile Selassie, without apology. So Shalom, um, stay tuned. More to come on this. Check out.